Hello, this tutorial will show you how to create simultaneous 5-axis planar finishing and pencil tracing with MADCAM on a piece of wood. Uh, first thing to do is to select the model for MADCAM. Then we select a cutter and we will use a ball and 10 mm cutter with a tolerance of 0.1 mm. Then we also have to set up the machine and in this this uh, case we are using a rotary head machine. Then we need to create a drive surface and that it the drive surface can be any NURB surface in Rhino and in this uh, example we we will create a drive surface from a couple of loft curves and the loft curves are created from intersection with a constant distance along this model so we can hide the model and we We'll only view the loft curves then we select the curves and we create a loft surface in Rhino and uh, to make the drive surface uh, a bit smoother we use a rebuild function with 10 control points then we click OK and there we have the drive surface so we can show the model and hide the loft curves and uh, now it's just to select the drive surface and the drive surface will control the direction of the cutter and the drive surface uh, controls the direction independent of the model so the projection will always be against the model from the direction in each point from the drive surface. So we select the drive surface and choose direction and then we can also uh, set the distance above the drive surface to calculate and the distance below the drive surface it is also possible to extend the height and depth to the default box and then we can also put a vertical angle limit and this is uh, very useful to avoid collision and uh, in this case the machine is only able to rotate plus 30 degrees and minus 30 degrees measured from the vertical plane and when that's set up then we can choose any standard 3-axis 2-path functions in MADCAM and then now we will make a simultaneous 5-axis planar finishing and the direction is set to zigzag X and that will be the U direction of the drive surface and then we can also use toolpath join blend for smooth join curves and we can set the, tra the traverse safe clearance and that's also measured from the drive surface and we can have an approach for ramp and then it's just to click OK and MADCAM will calculate the toolpath and there we have the tool path we can uh, hide the drive surface it will uh, stay in memory until we select another drive surface or if we reselect the model so this is the planar finishing tool path so we can hide this toolpath and then we can create 
pencil tracing and uh, it's the same uh, function as for three axis but when use when we use pencil tracing from a drive surface it will create a simultaneous five axis dual contact toolpath so we click OK and MADCAM will calculate the simultaneous 5-axis pencil tracing toolpath. And there we have the simultaneous 5-axis pencil tracing toolpath. And now we can run the simulator and here we can see the part and uh, some of the machine parts And we can see that the spindle will uh, not rotate less than minus 30 degrees or more than plus 30 degrees because of the vertical angle limit we set when we selected the drive surface.